town, way north in northern Finland, the town of Yvescula. 22 stages providing the action for the Rally Finland. You've seen 16, and we have six to go here on the final day. The first two of those three days, dominated by Peugeot, the silver cars winning all but one of the 16 stages, and the rest of the world championship contenders struggling to understand just why the 206s are so quick here. All three Peugeot drivers have taken their turn leading the rally, but it was the number one car, the reigning world champ Richard Burns, leading at the end of day one. Day two dawned with a change of luck for Burnsy, though. He tackled a yump on stage 12, a bit too enthusiastically hurt the car. It landed very hard on the on the nose of the car, and it's um, we lost we lost boost, lost into cooler, and we had no power to the end of the stage. Lost a minute and a half and the lead, but problems repairing the car's sump guard meant that the car was two minutes late leaving service. So there's another. 22nd penalty. All in all, not a good day for Burns. That left Harry Robin Pera in the number three car to lead, but the very next stage, he had trouble. Watch closely, right in front of the car, tire explodes right there, and then it gets worse. Co driver Boyko Sealander's worried glance speaks volumes. By the end of the stage, they trashed the front suspension, and this car was going no further. The rally is over for Robin Pera. And that then hands the lead to Marcus Gronholm, who turned out a string of fast stage times to lead the rally by a minute and a half over his teammate Burns going into the final day. Ford Focus, Colin McCray and his co-driver Nicky Griff, best of the non-Fugios, third place at the end of day two. Teammate Carlos Sainz and Louis Moya, fourth. They had a fight on their hands. <laughs> that fight is with Petter Solberg, who has an army of supporters here, even though he's not from Finland. He's about nine seconds behind Sainz. And his teammate, a frustrated Tommy Mackinnon, sitting in seventh spot. Now you're on board with Juha Kankinen, Four times world champion, national hero, and an embarrassing moment here as he puts the Hyundai on its roof. So here's how things currently stand. Gronholm, surely on the verge of his third consecutive win in Finland. The biggest battle looks set uh, between Sainz and Solberg. And behind the points positions, Mackinnon desperate to move up the leaderboard, with Freddie Loix also hungry for a top 10. I mean, being first on the road, it's going to be very difficult with this sandy surface. Yeah, I didn't really look forward to be first car on the road. I mean, especially these three stages in the last day, they are quite sandy, quite loose. So I think we have to make the line open the road and uh, have to see how it is the second time through. Colin, realistically, it looks like it's going to be third today. Yeah, I mean, I would be quite happy with that for sure. Um, I'm sure Carlos and Petra are going to be pushing pretty hard, so we need to try and keep in front of them and, you know, don't make any mistakes and still hoping that there's a problem in front. Richard, barring any incidents today, second should be quite a good reward for this rally. Yeah, not, not what we hoped for. We were uh, really, really wanted to win this rally, but uh, second is, is the next best thing. There must be no risks for you today, though. No, no, no risks, so just uh, a good drive. I am play it cool. That's the goal for the top contenders. Behind them, a battle among rally's old guard and one of the young guns. Stick around, should be good. Three of the Rally Finland would be the shortest, six stages, a loop of three repeated, but they cover just 58 miles total. Stage 17, a seven mile test would be the day's first. Pretty place and a great race, and with the top 15 cars run in reverse order, that meant that Armin Schwartz and Manfred Heimer would sweep the road for the others. Sports had been uh, right to be cautious. The 16th quickest time suggested first on the road was not the place to be. In left five short, 80. Right four short, 200. 
Sports House Crestflat, 80. Crestflat. Porsche 250, second crest minus its house, immediate left three to four. In right wash out of a crest, immediate crest flat. Right four minus tight at three to four of a crest. Into guys are left German, five we can only assume that they do the pace notes in English for the benefit of the right speed channel five, audience, so we'll give you a chance to listen to it. Left four, immediate. Left three to four, no cut. 150. Right five short, immediate over crest flat over king. 80. Over crest right four, no cut. 130. Left three to four. In over crest right five short. 150. Right four over crest minus tight and three to four short chunk. Open over crest. 80, right 5 over crest, in left 5 long over crest, 100, caution long crest minus immediate right 3 to 4 short, in left 3 to 4. Armin Schwartz using up the Hyundai his first year in that car after moving left over from Skoda. Short. And we move on to Tony Gardemeister, a full 10 seconds quicker than Armin through the stage. But the man ahead of him, Sebastian Loeb, was faster still. Yanni Passanen now, fourth fastest, the Mitsubishi, new car here, finally starting to show some of its potential. And six right over crest. Now we're on board with young Estonian Marco Martin. Good look at the work being done down in the foot box. Kid's really beginning to show his potential. In the last three rallies, he's been fourth, sixth, and fourth. 86 minus left fast over crest. 70, left tightens to 6 minus, 100, easy right. Now this is essentially a uh, gravel stage, but it did include that short stretch of asphalt, not that it seemed to bother right Marco much one way or the other. The Estonian second fastest, very good. Right tightens to 6 minus, press 8, easy left. All right, lots more from the first stage of the day still to come. Stick around. More of the Rally Finland. On board with Petter Solberg, sixth quickest. Hitting that stretch of tarmac with a bang here. Gravel, 30. Gravel, but I don't see Solberg lifting off very much. He badly wants that fourth spot from Carlos Sainz. Keep right of a small crest, 50. Crest, 40. Six left plus, extra long to keep right of a crest, 50. Early six left plus, keep in, and five right minus, Titans minus. 60. Shot, six right, opens of a crest, 60. Cut neat, six left minus, tightens minus, into six right minus of a crest. Opens long, 50. Flat right of a crest, 200. Very narrow, six left tightens, keep in of a crest, into short, six right plus of a crest. 100. Flat right of a crest, 80. Keep right of a crest, into five left minus, tightens minus. Opens, 60. Early six right minus, keep in, 25 left minus, slippy, tightens minus, camber of a crest. Into six right plus to keep left of a crest. 60. Six right half long of a crest. Titans deep now of four minus. Titans. 30. Keep left of crest into four right plus half long. Titans. 60. Four left. Opens. 50. Slippy navy for left plus Titans. So Solberg goes chasing signs, but this guy's not about to roll over. He's trying to hang on to fourth place. The focus of Sainz and Louis Moya over a second quicker on the stage than Solberg's Impressa. You get a real feel for how fast this guy goes up here. Only two drivers from outside Finland have ever won this thing, and Sainz has won two of them. Double world champion at work here, going into the safari rally. 
McKee, Mackinac, and McCray were all tied for the most rally wins ever. Of course, McCray won there and now owns that title. Bit of in-your-face rally driving, Carlos Sainz. Watching this, I love this week's rally rumor that Dario has an interest in rally driving. It might give us a try soon. Understand, Franchitti is uh, well connected with Burns' co-driver, and that might be the key to the deal. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the guys at the head of the field, the two Peugeots, Richard Burns and Marcus Gronholm. you got to believe that the key here is save the car, be conservative. I'm not sure how conservative that looks. Burns is flying. Have a listen. to left max 80, left max long at 150, left max 80, slight left long 80, left max in 50, flat right tightens maybe to flat right minus, and opens 70, flat right 80, flat left and cut 60, right max 60, Right max 50 crest to slight right 120, slight left 20, slight left cut to crest 20, slight right 80, crest 30, slight right in 50, crest 50, flat left minus, cut long, opens 40, right max 50, flat left minus tightens and easy left plus, cut 30, slight right 80. Right max well, over wonders Christ. if Burns 60, is not nursing right. that lingering notion about winning this thing. Christ, flat I don't right see much conservative right in plus. this. He attacked the first stage of the 70, morning flat pretty, uh, pretty hard, pretty aggressively. 70, easy left plus. And so that leads us to Grunholm, the leader. Remember, a minute and a half lead. If anybody has reason to sit on it, it would be this guy. Yeah, Clock's going to tell us the story. Look at this. They're a half second apart and continuing to stretch their lead over the rest of the field. But between them, that's very, very close indeed. And so the Peugeot parade continues. We'll be right back. Final day of the Rally Finland, we're on to stage 18 and one less car to tackle the challenge. Alistair McCray and David Sr. have broken their brand new Mitsubishi rear suspension. No amount of advice would fix it. Alistair, what happened on that stage? So basically, there's, I don't know what's happened, but the, what, how it's happened, but the, the rear wishbone, uh, the inside mountain's broken, so the wheel can float about, so there's, there's no point to risk the car, you know, where we are uh, in position in the rally. Meanwhile, Marcus Grunholm's cousin, Sebastian Lindholm, still the best of the privateers in eighth place in his Peugeot, privately entered. But Lindholm was nearly four seconds quicker on the stage than the five-time event winner, the very unhappy Tommy Mackinnon. Tommy never looks like he's having a great time. He is particularly glum looking here today. They just don't know why they're so slow. Sisälle alussa pirun pitkä helppo vasen miinus aukea kirraa alas. 
ja oikea alas kuus huomio pitkä kohti stage 8 seconds behind the eventual winner Petter Solberg meanwhile fourth fastest on the stage but events about to take a bizarre turn in favor of the Norwegian Now we're back on board with Sainz and Moya Again the blistering pace but the Spaniards have been confused by the starting lights That's right, been doing this forever, got confused, jumped the start, and got a 10-second penalty. First time it's happened to science in a career that goes back something like 20 years. Colin McRae and Nicky Chris, no such drama, four tenths of a second quicker than their teammates. Clearly, this guy has not backed off. He's on the podium and wanting more. This is his shot at Grunholm for the World Championship. Remember what happened at the Safari Rally? Grunholm broke, McRae won. He's within seven points in the championship. This could be the pivotal event. Now, of course, you're riding with the reigning world champion, Burns, who is way back in terms of points. Uh, he's just had a lousy season, although he's had a good race here. And now Grunholm, nearly four seconds slower than Burns on that stage. It would appear that Gronholm is taking it easy. Burns continuing to attack. But Burns has got to take back a minute and a half. So I don't see Gronholm slowing down that much. Gap between the two teammates still a fraction over a minute and a half. Up by 55 seconds on McCray. That's the key. The two Peugeot guys, if they do nothing else, must beat the Ford. See the rest of the order as we take a commercial break and come back with more of the Rally Pin Roll. Rally Finland will go to the virtual spectator for an overview of stage 19, Krunen Para. Amazingly, this stage is being used for the first time in the last half mile or so, a bit on the tricky side. Another first for the day, the Citroen Zara's finished debut. Still going pretty well, both cars in the top 12. Thomas Radstrom, now 10th overall. Here's the first of your point scoring drivers. That's Marco Martin and co-driver Michael Park. Almost his home event. Thousands of Estonian fans come up to support their hero here, and that support seemed to be working. Second fastest on the stage. No jump start for Carlos Sainz this time, but the 1990 rally winner was three seconds slower than Martin. Hey, remember what I said about the last stage of this uh, section being very, very tricky? Watch Sainz's hands as he tries to keep the car on the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A handful. Question was, what would Petter Solberg do? Sainz and Solberg, 2.2 seconds apart going into the stage, remember? Six left plus of a long crest, 200. So the clock will be the key. Gonna be close. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Solberg moves into fourth spot overall. Colin McRae though still over 24 seconds ahead of Solberg, so third place doesn't look likely for the Norwegian. Chris providing the commentary as the focus heads Six through stage 19. Nine. Worth noticing how far ahead of each corner Grist is delivering right the pace to notes. Minus over crest cuts and opens over crest. And right tightens to six over crest, 100. Turns, slow four left, tightens and narrows to three plus. Into six left over crest, opens 100. Six left over crest opens, 170. Care, long crest and six right over bridge opens. And left tightens to six minus, cut to stop. Well, there's your third place man. We move on to the two Peugeots up front and maybe they're finally backing it off right a little bit. Head, medium right minus cut. 20. This is Burns, he's second. Left in. 
60 crest, the flat right 30, easy right tight 20, fast right plus in long, 80, fast right plus, the fast right minus 30, flat left 70, jump maybe in left max. Yeah, he's backed off right some, Burns about crest, three 20, seconds slower right. than Solberg right on the stage, while Grunholm, he was about a half second faster than his teammate. So no change in the top three, and nothing, it seems, can stop the Peugeot's steamroller. But Solberg and Sainz have swapped places. That battle far from over. Thomas Radstrom now only four and a half seconds behind the ninth place man, Yanni Passanen. Let's hear from some of them. Carlos, why the time penalty on stage 18? Well, obviously, I jump and start. So my mistake. That's it. I, I think it... 15 years of rallying is the first time. I get a little bit confused with so many lights now and uh, did it. Carlos is less than two seconds behind you. Can you keep that fourth place? Yes, I have to. I, I have to. I'm gonna, gonna go quickly uh, as I can and I've done that now also. I've taken a few risks and I can't do anymore, you know. If he beat me, he, it's is definitely going quicker and you know I do what I can. Quite an expensive mistake. Now Petr Solberg has gone into fourth. You've dropped back. Can you retake him on the last three stages? I don't know. We have to keep, keep pushing, keep trying until the end, but I don't know. We have to see. Yeah. <laughs> three stages left to go. You must feel certain of victory. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very close, but still we have to 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 do the yeah, the race and to, to the end. He means the end is close. He doesn't mean the race is close. But wait, what's this all about? For who? We'll find out when we come back. Yes, that's one of the big guns. Well, let's talk about speed news. All the racing information you need to wrap up your weekend. We got the Saturday edition at 7 o'clock Eastern. Sunday, nothing but NASCAR for the first half hour. And then everything else that's happened in the racing world. Now we go back to stage 20 in Finland. A repeat of 17. Enormous crowds turning out here for the weekend. Prepared to have fun. Marco Martin thought he'd give him something to cheer about. And flew through the seven miles to set the fastest time. Six right over crest. 50 crest and late flat right tightens to six minus. Crest late easy left. 50, crest, flat right, tightens, 80, 6 minus, left fast over crest, 70, left tightens to 6 minus, 100, easy right, crest, flat left, 40, late 6 minus, right over crest, 130, 5 left long, 40, flat right over long crest, 130, 6 right crest, 20, junction 6 minus right crest, 100, flat wow. right, 20, flat left, 50, crest left, 70, crest, 20, crest 5 right, into 5 left, and flat right, 50, flat left, 40, 6 minus right, fast. 150, 6 left, tarmac. 200. No one went faster on, on the stage. Six, now, five. let's talk about this transition to asphalt. 30, you hear us talk about right, gravel specialists, asphalt specialists. The FIA is now looking at mixed rallies. Some pavement, some left. dirt. In the old days, they used to do that. They stopped doing it because of cost. Now, with centralized servicing, that idea is coming back around. We go to Petter Solberg. 1.1 seconds slower than Martin, but the blue focus wasn't the problem. It was the white one with the stripes that the Norwegian was worrying about. Pressure now firmly applied by Carlos Sainz to grab that fourth spot back. Trasante izquierda rápida, ojo, se cierra poco y ras. Abrirse, uno, 
All right, trying hard, but not getting it done. A second slower than Solberg. We go back to the third place car, McCray and Grist. Off the asphalt and into the dirt, and trouble ahead. Six crest, 120, five left, plus line. Into K left over crest that tightens the five minus line. 30, six crest into six left. 30, six crest, 70, four left plus, tightens maybe. 70, four right plus over crest, opens into K, three left minus, tightens. And three right opens to six, don't cut. 30, six left, opens over crest. Into six left, into right, into turn two left, tightens. And three right plus, opens. And six crest, 70. K, four right plus, over jump line. 50, left and five right. Into K, six left, opens over, big jump, keep in. Into four right plus, over crest. And K, three left plus, tightens. And three left plus. Keep in mind, and once again, how minus. critically important this podium finish right is. Grown home, the leader, nine. appears en route right to the rally win, the series two, championship left, leader. Over, this is the guy sitting third, seven points back. Six He's right, got to have that third left, place right, finish. Six right minus over but cut. watch what happens. Four left, right, See cut. the smoke? 30. See the look on his face? Six left, 70. K jump into six left. Half cut. In the five right plus. Cut. Something is burning, and whatever it is, is getting worse. Stop it a minute. Have a look from the outside of the car, and things are even more alarming. A trail of fuel suggesting that this could get a lot worse in a hurry. How about the marshals right on the scene out there in the middle of nowhere? The fire truck arrives. Unfortunately, this rally is over for Colin McCray. Colin, how did the fire start? Is uh, something's broken in the Bust in the rear, an oil pipe. It's got fire. John, 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 send a car. This car is fully on fire. It, yeah, it's fully on fire. I mean, it's gonna, it's not gonna stop until it burns out. Oh, it's bizarre. I mean, we finished the stage uh, without a problem, but of course we had a fire and we knew that probably about 500 meters back, but we could actually smell the fumes. But obviously this thing's uh, burning out of control. There's nothing we can do now. And so it's over. The four points are gone up in smoke and perhaps the championship hopes as well. Now Burns and Reed would be unaware of the drama until they arrive at the stage finish. Second quickest, exactly a second slower than Martin and Park. They squeeze past the burning Ford Focus, aware that their closest challenger is out. Ron Holm and Rafi Einan, another two and a half seconds adrift to their teammates, but the hard work had been done on days one and two. They are cruising. Oikein täyttynyt Ja hyppy keskeltä oikein eri helppo. Seitsemän ja oikein eri. We made the point last night. The Finnish drivers all learned on these roads. Yveskula is the heartland of rallying in Finland. Ronholm also won the Swedish in 1997. Won this event for the first time in 2000 en route to the championship. And last year, won again the first of his three victories on the season. And he's going for the hat trick, and it looks like it is right at hand.
vasen täysy, niin nypyn seitsemän. Nypyn vasen laita oikein eri tarkkana ja vasen eri. Yhdeksän ja vasen eri helppo. Viisi ja oikein eri jouheen. 150. Vasen täys niin on risteys asfaltti. Home course advantage plus at least for this weekend the best car out there. Pretty tough combination to beat. And thus we see Colin McRae still classified third, but that will not last. Sainz and Solberg are going to be moving up. But which one's going to get the last spot on the podium? Age in Finland, the spectators taking full advantage of the glorious weather here. Full sunshine. Like he's getting a bit burned. The Factory Citrons both finished in the Safari Rally last month, their first appearance there, and now on course to do it again here in Finland, or they were until Thomas Radstrom and Dennis Giraudet had a bit of a problem with this long left-hander. Ow, he says. You, you are fine? Yeah, not really. That was a hard hit. Retirement for the Zara then, while Colin McRae going out meant good news for Tommy Mackinnon. He's now sixth, and that puts him in the points. That's the first time this weekend, though he's still a minute down on Marco Martin, again the stage winner. And we ride with him again. 130, short flat right, six minus left over crest, opens and just a jump. But third overall, well, the Ford Barbecue has moved Petter Solberg and his co-driver Mills up into that precious spot. Keep left into deep to four right minus over crest. Titans minus 40, cut two left Titans keep in. Into four right. 30, keep right of the crest, rocks and cut knee for left minus titans, into three right plus of the crest, opens, 36 left of the crest, caution, 20, turn knee to two right minus, double titans, 20, two right plus, you guys had so much ten, bad luck lately, podium finish here, 50, particularly with the fan support he has in Finland, it's going to be a big help in turning the season titans, around, one titans, ditch out, 150, crest, 40. And it never hurts to be a little bit lucky. Solberg quicker than signs through the stage. And then listen as they come to the finish line. There's the line. And there's a puncture. Which one is it? And Petter has no idea what his time was. He lost too much, I think. No, actually you didn't. You beat the guy you had to beat. And with that, we move on. The Peugeot, 1-2. The outcome pretty much locked in. Burns also suffered a puncture, but was tied for second quick through the stage with Solberg. And Grunholm was just 1.8 seconds slower. And so from here, ah, he can coast home. Marcus Grunholm closing in on a third straight victory in Finland. Right, 
in the K6 left opens over Big Jump Keep In, in the 4 right plus over Crest, and K3 left plus Titans, and 3 left plus, and 4 left minus, and 6 right opens, in 2 5 left plus line, and on 4 right plus. And 6 right over Crest. 50, crest and late flat right, tightens to 6 minus, crest 80, easy left. 50, crest flat right, tightens. 80, 6 minus left, fast over crest. 70, left tightens to 6 minus. 100, easy right, crest flat left. 40, late 6 minus right over crest. 130, Five left long. Forty flat right over long crest. One thirty six right. And with that, just one more stage to go. We'll be back with the finish. Finish. Final stage, just seven and a half miles. Might there be one more surprise before this rally is over? In all, there were four fins in the top eight. Best of the non-works drivers, Sebastian Windholm seventh. Tommy Mackinnon and Kai Lindstrom finishing sixth, claiming the first of the driver's points, but rarely has Tommy finished his home rally with such a long face. Ah, grumpy. Marco Martin fifth, delighting the thousands of oil fans who made the trip to Finland to offer their support. But it appeared there were almost as many Norwegians here on this weekend cheering one guy, Petter Solberg. His nervousness showed, though, as he and Phil Mills tackled the last stage. For right plus Titans. It's all right. No, almost. It's all right. I was too nervous, Phil. I was <laughs> Better concerned that he might have lost the spot, but Hollywood held on and finished on the podium. <laughs> no wonder he's so popular. Sainz hadn't given up, though, storming the stage. He ended up 1.4 seconds quicker than the Subaru. Not quite enough. He finished fourth. No denying Peugeot. Yet another 1-2. Yet another maximum 16 manufacturer points. Burns again. Tied for quick on the last stage. Finished second, no doubt kicking himself for that bad landing on day two, stage 12. And with that, we go to Grandhol, the man who stopped the clock on exactly the same time as Burns. The French team's domination of this rally was total. They led from start to finish, and their form on days one and two, nothing short of crushing. He never blinks. I don't think he blinked the whole rally. He wins three in a row at home and moves a very important step closer to the world championship. In the end, the winning margin changed very little over the final day. A minute 27, Burns a further minute and 22 seconds ahead of Solberg. Signs Martin and Mackinnon claiming the re uh, remaining driver points. Johnny Pastanen finishing eighth for Mitsubishi, Loeb 10th in Citroen. And in the Drivers' Championship, Grunholm's lead back to 17 points once again. Burns now fourth. Let's hear from some of the front runners. Marcus, three wins in three years. What a fantastic result. Yeah, it's it's good. It seems to be that our car is very good and also no mistakes from me in, in these three years, so it has been uh, good, good. Richard, oh so close to an historic victory. Yes, well, what can I say? <laughs> I, I tried everything I could and um, it's, it, is, it is good enough to, to win this rally and I, I will hopefully be better next year. A great performance for you, was it? Feeling for the car, did everything go 100%? Ah, everything was perfect the whole rally. We did a little bit the wrong tire choice uh, yesterday, and we had a we had a spin, but everything else was uh, no problem at all. You're still second in the championship, but now Marcus Gonon's got a 17-point lead. It's looking pretty tough. 
Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the competitiveness of the Peugeot at the moment is very, very good. You know, Marcus has got a lot of very strong rallies coming up as well, and it's going to make it real tough. And in terms of manufacturer points, Peugeot just a point away from smashing the 100-point barrier. Ford, 25 behind. Very disappointing for Colin, yourself, the whole team. It had looked great for a podium. Yeah, it was looking very good. I mean, uh, OK, well, I think at the end of the day, we were probably very happy with the result. We weren't happy with the margin uh, between, uh, between ourselves and the likes of Marcus. But it would have been very valuable points for Colin and, as you say, for the, for the manufacturers as well. Corrado, fifth 1-2 of the year. What a terrific result for the team. Yes, indeed. What a terrific result. After having given some points away for many reasons, you know, uh, it's a good taste to win again and uh, to win in this panel. Indeed, another rally. Finland won by a Finnish driver and co-driver. Popular pair at that, Marcus Stronholm and his brother-in-law, Timo Rotiainen. Must be starting to think about Tommy Mackinnon's record of five consecutive victories here. A new addition to the World Rally Championship is next. The series makes its first ever visit to the Rally Deutschland. The German all-tarmac event drew enormous crowds last year, promises to be even more popular now that it is a World Championship event. And Speed will bring you same-day coverage of all the legs from Germany. It all begins later this month with Rally Excess August 22nd, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So we have nine events down, just five to go. Safe to say the Rally Finland this year exceeded expectations for excitement and spectacle. any of our three days of coverage here we remind you rally extra comes your way tomorrow a one hour look at the entire weekend with added footage and interviews might this be the round that puts marcus drawn home over the top and makes him world champion uh, we'll have to wait and see that does it for now from finland i'm david spade been fun being with you see you next time